Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome to Momentum Channel. Today, we are going to be taking a look at our uh, portfolio that we have at Interactive Brokers. It's a portfolio mainly consisting of fractional U.S. Uh, stocks. Uh, current value of this portfolio is at $5,315. Uh, let's take a look at our returns before we get into our holdings and what their performance is. You notice here the one month's return is showing to be at... 2.11%. The month to date return, which is just merely a couple of days into the new year, is at negative 2.48%. Seven day return is at barely at uh, like a negative return is 0.73%, uh, close to uh, stagnant in that sense. And lastly, if you look at the one year return, um, which is longer time period, uh, we are showing an uh, upside and put actually a return of positive 77.74%, which is uh, quite remarkable for a one-year return for our portfolio. Let's get into the specific holdings and what positions we own here uh, to give you a better perspective of our holdings. <laughs> The first holding to review is Costco. Uh, we have fractional shares of 0.52, and it is showing an unrealized profit of 104 uh, US dollars. This is equivalent to an unrealized gain of 54%. And uh, next on our list, we have NEO. Here, we are showing an unrealized loss of 21% or $18.90. Here, we have fractional shares of 2.27 uh, shares of NEO. Next on our list, we have Netflix. We own 0.73 fractional shares of Netflix, and it is showing a positive return of 19% or equal to unrealized profit of $70.10. Next on our list, we have Roku. We've recently I started to add to our positions of Roku to try to take advantage of dollar cost averaging. Currently, we have 0.41 fractional shares, which is showing a negative 21% return or equivalent to unrealized loss of $24.10. Next on our list, we have NVIDIA. Here we have 3.92 fractional shares, and it is showing a remarkable return of 113% positive. That is equivalent to unrealized profit of 603 US dollars. Adobe is another holdings on our list. We have 0.62 fractional shares. It is showing a positive return of 16% or $46.90. Tesla is our best performing fractional shares. We have 0.64, roughly 63 uh, fractional shares of Tesla, and it is showing a gigantic 182% positive return or equivalent to 467 US dollars. TSM or Taiwan Semiconductor uh, Company is another holding. It did uh, quite well uh, today and was uh, up in the stock market. Uh, currently, though, it is showing a positive return of 14% or up, uh, up by $3.61. Here we have only 0.22 fractional shares of TSM. Next on our list, we have Realty Income. This is a dividend paying company, not too much of a growth company. Here we have 1.59 or close to 1.6 fractional shares of realty income. It is up by 24% and it is showing an unrealized profit as a result of that, uh, equal to 22 US dollars. Orion Office REIT Incorporated, ONL, is another holding. This is the one that we haven't uh, individually gone ahead to buy. Uh, it was uh, awarded to us as a result of owning uh, the uh, realty income. And here we have 0.16 fractional shares. It is up by 7.8%. Path or UiPath Incorporated is a software company. We have 0.92 fractional shares. It is down by 15% or negative $6.75. Next on our list, we have Pluck Power. It is one of our uh, holdings that also is in negative territory with 5.3% in uh, the red or down by $7.59. Twilio is one of our other holdings. We have uh, 
59 equals to 0.6 fractional shares of Tulio. It is down by 23%, and uh, that sh shows uh, $44.10 in the red. Amazon, another holding. We have 0.11 fractional shares of Amazon. It is up by 5.7% or up $19.90. Alibaba is one of our uh, performance, uh, poor performing uh, holdings. We have 0.94 fractional shares of Alibaba and is down by 32% or $52.90. Apple it has been doing phenomenal in the past couple of weeks. Uh, our 3.08 fractional shares of Apple is up by 52% or 190 US dollars. Disney and other holdings, we have close to one share. It is up by 19% or equal to $24.90. We do have one and only one Canadian stock here in this portfolio. Uh, very good food. We have 146 shares, and unfortunately, it's done horribly for us. It's down 73% or in 400 Canadian dollars in the negative territory. Our next holding here is Etsy. Uh, we have 0 0.05 uh, fractional shares. It is up by 1% or just about 10 cents. And lastly, we have Okta as another uh, holdings here, 1.60 fractional shares. It is down 13% or about $49.30. Uh, in terms of our approach here, in terms of uh, future investments, as mentioned, this is a fractional uh, portfolio and we are very pleased with our current holdings. Um, what we would like to do, aside from the very good food, which is a Canadian company, and we are not going to probably touch it for the time being, we all would like to dollar cost average gradually through fractional buys into the remainder of these holdings. Uh, I'm in this in particular, we would we are more interested to dollar cost average into Okta, Tulio, Roku, and uh, UPath. Those are the four picks that we would like to dollar cost average into and take advantage of the negative territory returns that we are in. Um, we have much more. Um, belief into these companies or considering to be solid uh, companies in terms of uh, with the growth potential um, octa and tulio are remarkable businesses uh, and roku and you you pass as well we believe that they have uh, definitely opportunity to uh, recover from these negative territories and the, the truth of the matter is many of these ones we started buying them fractionally uh, at the times whereby there were had quite some positive runs and the stock price had already gone up. And now just that stock price is cooled off. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that these are bad companies, but it's just a matter of that many investors have chosen to kind of cash out some of their profits. And as a result of that, the stock definitely has uh, been, in, the prices have been impacted by that. Are you currently uh, having any of these uh, stocks in your own portfolio? would love to hear from you. So let us know in the comment section down below which one of these holdings you have in your stock investment portfolio. If you gained something of value from this video and enjoyed it and you like these type of videos, I appreciate it if you can give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot to us and helps the channel to grow. And if you haven't done that already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on Momentum Finance. We post every week several videos about investing, whether it's investing in the stock market, real estate, and cryptocurrencies, as well as ways to reach financial freedom. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.